I get a lot of people asking me how we were blessed to walk away from corporate America in our early 30s. Well, listen, I don't want to keep that a secret. I want to share it with the world. And so maybe you're listening to this podcast and you're trying to figure out how do I even get started on my journey of entrepreneurship and getting to a level of freedom? Well, text the word freedom to 737-777-9909. Enter your information in. And we look forward to sharing some information with you, a proven system with smart overhead, right? That you can do part-time spare time right from the comfort of your home and have amazing mentors, coaches, and a community of entrepreneurs who are willing to support you and help you on your journey to freedom. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales. Have you ever felt stuck? Have you ever felt like there's got to be more to life than the reality that you see every day? Tune in weekly, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays as we crack the codes to freedom in every area of your life. Welcome to Code Freedom. This is your host, Eddie Bales, and this is episode 160. And today, I'm actually talking about my nephew's championship win. Uh, he's in 10U basketball, and today they just won the championship. But, you know, me personally, I like to learn from anything and everyone, right? Uh, I can learn from a failure just as much as I can learn from a success, right? Uh, when you're learning from a failure, you just learn what not to do, right? And so uh, I want to talk about my nephew's team real quick. They were the Memphis Grizzlies and um, they played in 10U basketball. And, you know, a lot of them on the team never played in the league before. Most of them uh, were fairly, I would say just from me, my observation, that they were fairly new to like organized basketball, maybe shooting around on the playground, but but not like organized basketball where you actually can get called travel <laughs> uh traveling for you know walking with the ball versus on a playground you're just shooting around and just whatever right so you know i just thought it was really awesome and so a couple of things that i observed is that well let me just let me just say what happened today so they played against a team called the lakers right and they won but this is the same team that they started the season with, and they got blown out by like 30, first game ever, and they got blown out horribly. But then they came back around and they won the championship. And so first thing is, um, you know, you can get better, right? Like they, they obviously weren't like, like they didn't have it all together on the first game but they just kept getting better and better and better. And, uh, you know, they, they became champions. So I just thought that was so powerful because I, I, I watched and witnessed all of them improve incrementally from the first game because I've, I've been at every game, right? And, and by the way, side note, that's one of my passions is being able to be at the basketball games because um, I remember when I had my basketball games and I just would have loved to have somebody in the stands to say, hey, you're doing a good job, bro, that type of thing. So uh, it, it was an honor for me to even be able to be there uh, each and every time. And so that's that's number one is you can get better. No matter what you're doing, you can get better. Sometimes we just think we're doomed at whatever we're doing, even if we're not good at it yet. Uh, but then just understand that you can get better at anything, right? We are human beings. We, you know, the Father in the Bible has this scripture that says that he'll bless the work of our hands. If you truly believe that he will bless the work of your hands, then you should go into every situation like, look, I got this. Even if right now, not so much, right? So just know that. The, the, another thing that I learned is keep showing up. Those kids, they just kept showing up. Um, and, you know, they showed up messy, <laughs> you know, I mean, kids on the ground, um, you know, still, still, some of them would still have some calls with a lot of travels and double dribbles and, you know, maybe shooting the ball over the hoop, <laughs> right? But, hey, it was all a learning experience for all of them. And that's the thing that I like this to see is that they were willing to learn. Some people just throw their hands up and say, I'm just not good. I quit. 
I've seen adults do this, right? Let alone kids, but they stuck in, they stuck with it. They had some team camaraderie, and I just thought that was super, super powerful. Another thing is it doesn't have to be perfect to win. That's something that I learned. You don't have to be perfect to win because, like, it's not like all these kids that were on the team were all all star players. They were, like I said, some of them were fairly new to even the idea of organized basketball. But the thing is, um, they played together. They worked together. They they came and worked hard, and they 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 they, they operated as a team, and they were able to win. Right. So so what I'm saying here is so, sometimes we think that we have to be perfect to start that business. We have to be perfect to 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 marry that girl that you've been dating for eight years. Uh, you have to, you have to, I, I remember I used to think that like, like, like I got to have it all together before I say, will you marry me? And then I learned, look, it's better that we grow together than me trying to think that I'm going to get it all together. Cause sometimes we say, I'm waiting for my ducks to get in a row. Well, listen, most of the time the ducks never get in a row. Right. So, uh, my point here is you don't have to be perfect to start. You don't have to be great to start. You just got to start to become great. You just got to go out there and do it. Just go give it a shot, right? And that's what they did. Um, another thing is that they they had teamwork, you know? So, uh, you know, of course, there are some that had more strength than others, and they leaned on their weaknesses and their strengths, right? Like, like, like I'm, I'm not going to name the names. I don't even know the names, all of them, but... Uh, you know, you had some who were really good at defense, while some were really good at offense. You had some who were good at just setting the pick uh, so that someone can get open. Um, even if they may not have scored, they could set a good pick and they can get that person open, right? They could they could get the ball. If somebody had it, they're they going to get the ball out their hands <laughs> no matter what, right? So, like, that's the thing that's cool about it is understanding your strengths, understanding your weaknesses. And being okay with the weaknesses and just focusing on the strength, right? Because someone else has a strength that is your weakness. And if you put all these folks together in a team, then if, if you're in a team environment, then you can still win even if you have certain weaknesses. So I just thought that was powerful. And, and there's so much more that I can share about the uh, the game and just the season and the experience. But uh, it was fun watching, and I thought I'd share a little bit of um of 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 my nephew's journey and uh, it was actually his first organized basketball uh he had played football before but this is his first time doing basketball and that's another lesson because don't be afraid to try new things because in the beginning he was like you know i want to play basketball and then as it got close he was apprehensive like uh, i don't know and we we weren't going to let him back down we were like no try it out see how you like it and he met some new friends. Uh, he had a chance to play, have fun, exercise, all that good stuff. Uh, the team atmosphere, the discipline. So there's so much stuff that you can learn from experiences that are new. So that's one thing I would say, too, is don't be afraid of new experiences. Don't be afraid to try something new. I often say, when's the last time you tried something for the first time? Um, and that sometimes that just means we're not stretching, we're not growing ourselves. We're just staying in the, in the mundane everyday things that we always do. And yes, that's fine. But look, you know, learn photography, learn, read a book and learn another language. Um, you know, there's so much stuff you can learn. I mean, we're in the information age now. But the thing that's scary about today's society is that we have access to all this information, but most people don't access it. Most people don't pick up a book. Uh, most people won't even listen to a podcast, right? They'd rather listen to music. They'd rather be entertained. And uh, you know, hey, there's nothing wrong with entertainment. We all need some entertainment in our lives every now and then. But at some point, we got to learn something. We got to grow. We got to get better. And that's what I wanted to talk about today is what I learned from my nephew's championship win. And so this is episode 160. It's a short one, but uh, I think it's packed with some nice jewels and nuggets that you can apply in your own life. So take care, take charge, and we'll see you all over the top.
Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys for listening. Um, definitely feel free to take a screenshot of this episode. Tag me in it on Instagram uh, or Facebook or wherever you find me on social media. I would love to give you a shout out. Hey, you might even get a prize. Who knows? But uh, excited that you had a chance to take a listen. I hope you got a lot of value. And uh, definitely feel free to uh, give us five stars as well as a review. Uh, show us some love and we appreciate you. God bless you all and see you all over the top.